frustration when you're trying to get so much out of your game. You're trying to get every ounce of capacity that you have to get out of your game. Thank you. And when you put that much into something, if it doesn't work, it hurts. And over a period of time, it just it just gets to you. It wears to you. Two hundred and two yards, oh, easily reachable, and a great shot. Well, that's it tucked in that corner. That'll be sixty feet below the hole, layered for eagle, and just barely misses his mark. So Laird's going to tap in for a birdie, and that's going to move him to seven under within two of the lead. And Laird, even though after that great second shot, you want to see that putt drop, he still has now five birdies on the back nine. Wouldn't have bet on it for sure. Martin Laird now in the tee at the fifth. Four pars to open up with, trying to play a little cut shot in there. And another good shot. Look at this, got a chance. Beautiful shot there by Martin Laird. Catches the corner. It's a good birdie right there. On this par three. I think inside of 40 feet is a great shot. Yep. This is on a very aggressive line if it's enough. Oh man, what a shot this is. That is, he may have blocked that just a touch, but it was Thanks. so well struck. What a great shot. Phil, in this day and age where so much is available to players, is there a risk of information overload? Regardless of what you work on, you have to freely execute to Kurt's point. You got to let it go freely. You get too much in your mind, Kurt. He made eagle here yesterday on way to a 63, coming off birdie on eight. Dive in there. Yeah. How's that? Center cut right there. Bottom line, whatever works. Take another look at Martin Laird's eagle putt here at the ninth. This guy's starting to heat up. Center cut, eagle three. Green at the tenth, normally a little firmer than the rest. Oh, it had a good sound to it. Crisp going downwind. It's hard. Yeah, good shot. That's. That's gutsy. When you count on the spin to stop it to a back hole location, you've really got to clip it. Okay. Looked like he stood there a long time, but a good putt. Well played. How's that? Two different techniques. How's that? He <laughs> drove it in there knowing that it was going to spin late. What a good stroke. That was pure right there. That's a huge confidence booster to make that type of putt in that situation. Okay, good shot. Probably a little left to right in that putt, but a very makeable spot to putt from. Needs to free that stroke up for this one. And yeah, that yeah. looked much better. Yep, it sure did. There was some good flow in that stroke right there. Hit the hill. Hit the hill. It's got to go. <laughs> it did. How good Beautiful is that? shot, Kurt. Wow. How good is that? He wanted to kill it into that slope. Martin Laird for another birdie at seven. Trying to make two in a row. It's going to sneak to his right. Turning. Yeah. What a solid start for Martin Laird. That's two left to righters he's made in a row. Right in the heart, yep. too. Beautiful strokes. Look at this. This, the third for Martin Laird. And that's how he made eagle. You sometimes wonder about destiny, don't you, when, when you hold a shot like that. Yeah. 
What a putt. Solid putt there to maintain his one-shot lead, Martin Laird. Beautiful stroke. Beautiful stroke. The pace of that stroke through the ball was so, it was such certainty. That was marvelous. It's the way he strokes through this ball. There's no wishy-washy in that. That was a wonderful up and down. What a gold shot. My How goodness. How about this? He's got a chance for par. He sure does. <laughs> that is special right there. <laughs> That's an, what an up and down that would be. That's incredible. What a putt. He did trust it. That was <laughs> what an up and down. You can sit over there with a giant basket of balls. Watch this. He trusted what Cantlay's ball did. It oh. tried to get out right there at the end. That's the speed. Oh, oh my goodness. Goodness, what a good putt. <laughs> so we will have a three way playoff. Three under 68 to finish. Nice, nice, nice. Bogey the final hole. One more look. A little more speed, and this goes in. I mean, not much either. Going right at those bunkers. I think it'll be all right. Missed it enough. Yeah, he's, he didn't hit it, but it's fine. Didn't see it. Center. Up the middle of the green. Solid. Center of the green? Center, I think. Much better than in regulation. That's what he needed in regulation. As the four. What he did. Soft. It's on a great line. Soft. Boy, it landed too soft. He was asking for that, Phil. Like they had it yeah, right on line. Beautiful did. shot. But that's what you got to do. Hung up, it stayed up. How about that? Martin Laird is your winner in spectacular fashion of the Shriners Hospital for Children Open. One more time. I mean, he did some amazing stuff today. Go ahead and do that. Martin Laird, welcome back to the winner's circle. First time in more than seven years. Big high five for his guy, Ryan Hoagie. You know, these guys, they work, they doubt, they don't give up. Martin, third time's a charm, I guess. Great putt. Take us through what's going on in your mind as you stand over there with a chance to win your fourth PGA Tour event. Yeah, you know, uh, it's uh, it's been a while. So, um, you know, I've been I've been working hard and and uh, you know, seven years since my last one, and uh, you know, it's been probably feeling now my game is you know really as good as it has been and been playing well the last few weeks I uh, just haven't really had the results and you know I love it here and and I got to say they were nice enough to give me a I need a sponsored exemption to get in this week so a big thank you to uh, Shriners for giving me that spot um, but uh, yeah obviously it's uh, I'm gonna really enjoy this one and with this win and all the perks that come with it how does this change your goals moving forward for the remainder of the season oh yeah I mean I, I uh, haven't really had time to even think about that but uh, you know, I, uh, yeah, I mean, as you can tell, it's, it's emotional and, uh, you know, I can't wait to get back and see my kids and my wife and uh, celebrate with them. Great win, man. Well Thank done. Thank you.